Yes, sir. It's your boy, Lindell White. That's right, your dog. One half of the super group smash and dash. But yeah, I'm back again with another episode, probably my favorite show, Hate It or Love It, um, where we bring you the top five uh, NFL, top five college picks for the week. You know, and we, we try to give you our expertise. Um, you know, I've been kicking ass on this show lately, so I'm excited. I'm bringing him, I had to bring my brother Kelvin back one more time because we had a good square off. You think you could really beat me, man. And I know you know a lot about this sport, so that's why I had to bring you back on. And hey, Nick, again, this week, if I need you to um, give us the splits on who wins, because for some reason, these people be thinking they beating me and they ain't really beating me. So, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's get on to it, man. We, what you wanna do? You wanna do college NFL first? You the guess you pick. Do the college first. Let's knock that out. All first. right, all right, cool. But that's see, that's normally my favorite part. So it's cool. Um, I was weak really glad. College. I, yeah, you know, but I, I get it. Let's let's switch it around a little bit. Um, first up on our college schedule, man, we have TCU at an unbelievably hot Kansas Jayhawk football team, man. Um, obviously, <laughs> you know. Kansas winning like this, you know, they, it's kind of got people a little nervous because Kansas football is Kansas football, but right. they opening it up at TCU minus seven. Hate it or love it? TCU minus seven. Yeah. Woo. I'm going to take Kansas with the points. How they wrong? Where's the game at? In Kansas? In, in Kansas. Uh, it's in Lawrence? Kansas. Yeah, we're going with, I'm going with Lawrence plus the points. You know so I, what? I'm going to absolutely hate this pick too. I'm going with Kansas. I just like the way they playing. And for me, I just like the way, you know, the, the feel is for college football to have an underdog like this. And nobody's giving them a fighting chance in hell, probably. Everybody thinks TCU is like that. Um, I haven't seen nothing really special. Like that. They is like that. They got them athletes out there. Yeah, well, cause what you're saying, because they beat, who did they beat, Oklahoma last week or something? Or no, was that, that was, I forget who they played last week, but what, I just I'm sorry. TCU always got a good low run for real. I mean, I know TCU's ranked 17th right now. Kansas is at 19th overall. Um, I just like Kansas to pull keep shocking people right now. Kansas plus the point. To me, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for college football, man. I I, I wanna see that. Uh and right now they got the over or under at 68 and a half. Hate it or love it. Love it. You love the over. Oh, so you want these boys to go out there and score some touchdowns yeah, and score yeah. points. Come on, both teams, yeah, both teams. Uh, I'm going to whew, 70 points is a lot. 68 is really. I'm going to say I love it too, man. You we we agree for both of these things. Uh I just feel like somebody's gonna make up on the back end. I, I just know that. And even if they go into OT. Turnovers for touchdowns too. They both throw the ball a lot too. So yeah, I, I see that, man. I, okay, so I guess we both agree, man, which is absolutely horrible for myself. I think I should have, you know, went a different way. But, like, when I know football, I just got to go go with football, man. Um, next up, we got the Tennessee Volunteers. And they go into a hostile environment now with a new coach and Brian Kelly down there at LSU, man. Go Tigers. They have the spread right now, the Volunteer State, minus three. Hate it or love it. Volunteers minus three, man. How they been rolling after they put that one out on Florida too? I'm, a, I'm, a, I like the volunteer. I love it. I love it. My volunteers uh, minus three on the road. We're it's gonna take them. It's crazy, man. Because I guess you know, for some reason this week you want to just be like you know, saying you're big bro, <laughs> which I'm not at all upset about. But I absolutely love this. I think Tennessee actually wins by a little more than three points. Um, I just like the way they've been rolling. And that quarterback has been playing lights out, man. Um, and Brew McCoy, another USC transfer, is out there playing wide receiver. He's been making plays. Um, I just see, yeah, I see Tennessee, Tennessee, you know, pulling away at the end. It, it may not be a crazy pull away. It may be like around 10 points, but I just see them scoring yeah, like a big touchdown. 13 the most. Yeah. Counting okay. two. Right now we have... What's the that over, over under 64 and a half? Hate it or love it? 64 and a half. So I'm not sure. That's an interesting one now, though, because you 
Well, I don't know, man, because if you look at the, if you just look at the stats, honestly, and what, what Tennessee has been able to do over the last couple of weeks, it's not like they're, they, they are lacking for any type of points. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I, I don't know, man. Come on now. Ooh. I love, I love, that's the same number as uh, Kansas and, and uh, TCU, basically. So if they could do it, LSU and Kansas could definitely do it. You think so? Overs. You going with it? I'm going to absolutely hate this. All I right. just think that um, I don't I don't know where LSU gets this offense from. Jaden Jaden, I think his name Daniels. He's a quarterback over there. He came from Arizona State. Yeah, that's where he came from. He's pretty dope. I, I ain't gonna knock him. I like his uh his playing style. He can rock out, but I just don't see them doing much to this Tennessee defense. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe um. I don't know. I, I I hate it. I don't I don't see them getting over sixty four points in this game, man. I I see Tennessee covering. The, I see Tennessee covering, but I don't see them going over it at all. So I guess that's our first disagreement, man. Who who knows? We we'll see. It's the best thing about this betting. Oh man, one of the probably the, one of the greatest rivalries we have in sports. There's there's big rivalries, obviously. Um, especially in college football, you got like you know USC Notre Dame is definitely a huge one. You got uh, Ohio State, Michigan. You got Florida, Florida State. And then you have probably this one, which is not, arguably not second to none of any of these, which is the Red River Shootout. You got Texas going into Oklahoma this weekend. And regardless of what they rank in or what the scores is, one thing we do know is that this is a shootout game and they're, they, you know, it's going to be a bang out. So they got Texas going into Oklahoma right now. Texas. I got, I got OU at home. Oh, that's horrible because they got Texas minus seven right now. And I, yes, I absolutely love it. I think Sark goes in there and, and stamps another victory this weekend. OU's down. They're declining. Uh, my USC Trojans stole Lincoln Riley. And since then, they have been, you know, they have been I was hoping for anything. Um, I just don't see Oklahoma doing much. Oklahoma just lost to Texas Tech, I think, if I'm not mistaken, last week. Red Ready. Um, I, Red Ready. And so is AM. Yeah, I ain't I ain't buying it yet, man. So I absolutely, I absolutely I love this. And I think Texas actually, you know, dominates a little bit just because Sark needs to make a, a statement this game. So especially considering last year when again our quarterback now, Caleb Williams, came in as a freshman and dominated his way back after they were up big in that first half. So it's going to it's going to be crazy to see what comes with that game, man. But I, I can't wait to see it this weekend because that's one of the games I will be keeping an eye on for sure. Uh, next up, man, we have a team that I'm looking forward to seeing in a couple weeks and a team that I really can't stand. And I don't think they're really good at all. Utah Utes at the UCL, UCLA Bruins. I can't even say it right because I don't like it. See, I said Bruins, and it's the is it Ruins or Bruins? Whatever it is, UCLA something, Ruins. That's what it is, UCLA Ruins. Uh, they got Utah minus four. Hate it or love it. Utah minus four in at UCLA. Yeah. I don't think Chip Kelly's rocking like that. That's my personal opinion. So I absolutely love this. I think Utah covers and they covers big. I don't think UCLA is really that good. They haven't been battle tested. Um, yeah, they have my bias. But I just, I mean, the quarterback now, he's really legit. I'm not going to knock him. Dorian, I think. I'm taking UCLA at home with the points. Okay. Well, we disagree. That's good because I'm, I'm definitely. Good. I got some points. I'm going with you. I'm going with Utah and they covering. They, I think they cover big. I don't think this is going to be a close game at all. They got the over under at 64 and a half. Hated to love it. Hate it. You, uh, UCLA ain't going to cover their part of it. Um, how are you, you, oh, you, but you, you picking them to cover the points. So you want UCLA at home with the points, but you don't think they cover. I get it. Me, I think they, I love this. I think they go, they definitely go over. I think Utah scores a lot of points this game. I love it. I can't wait to see it. Um, I just think, and then UCLA again, his quarterback, he he intrigues me because one thing I do know is that he's going to be scoring a lot of points, man. He can, he can run. I just don't think long-term he's going to be able to put up points. I think in the fourth quarter, the Utah defense steps up and then they end up running away with like, you know, 12 at the end of the game. But I think they cover by at least 12, bro. We got the Washington State 
I don't even know they um mascot no more. I don't I'm forget. At my USC Trojans, they got my USC Trojans at minus thirteen. You know I'm. That, I don't even gotta tell you what I'm doing. It don't matter yeah, what they've been covering. They cut. I got you. Use. I got USC to cover. I'm sure. definitely at taking home. USC. We got Jordan Addison making plays. Caleb Williams, boy, you've been looking smooth. You looking smoother than ever, man. You look, you, boy, you look nice out there, boy. You look like a young Cam Newton mixed with, you know what I mean? It's something like Matt Lina or something. Just some, it's, it's something we ain't seen right now. I love it. Because yeah. um, you're poised. You can make plays outside the pocket. Love it. Uh, Jordan Addison, man, you are a freak of nature with your, 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 your quick twitch moves and how you're able to explode and make plays when you need to. My guys in the backfield, A. Jones, yeah, the guy, Relique Brown. Yes, man. I'm taking my USC Trojans to cover for sure. We get back oh, on gosh. track again. Um, we're ranked sixth in the nation. So this is big for us, man. Um, and we're at home with some night game. So I take USC for sure. Uh, over under 66. Hate it or love it. You go into the, in the Coliseum, man. I, it got to go over. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I love it right now. There's no way around it. I, I can't. For me, it's hard for me to like really not 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 go with these bets right here, only because I know how good USC offense really is. And if they're capable of scoring like I've seen them do in these couple recent weeks, then I know that you know that 66 is uh, that's a little bit low to me because it, I mean, hopefully my defense, you know hold strong and doesn't give up that much. But I mean, Washington State is known for, you know, spreading the ball out and getting a lot of points. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I think 66 is yeah. definitely. I, yeah. I, yeah, so I'm, I love the over and I love USC to cover for sure, man. I ain't, there's no way around it. Let's go Trojans. Fight on, baby, you did. Okay, all right. Okay then, like my niece say, now it's time to get into these uh NFL picks, man, probably the stuff that you've been waiting on. Um, yeah. I know you probably been a little bit hurt lately, man, because that uh, black and gold, man, you know, man, I don't even want to do it to you, but it's only right because it's your team, man. And I know that you <laughs> yeah, this would be on the list, you know, who's with the Nets, the Bills, and they covering. <laughs> I know, but what I'm telling you is what's up with your team, what's going on with these uh. This black and gold, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we dealing with the quarterback issue for one. I I'm, listen. I'm, that's not my fault. Y'all just no, y'all not. Y'all drafted Kenny Pickett for a reason. Right. We played him too, so we're gonna rock with him. We should have started him versus the Jets. So are you are you rocking with him? You know what's crazy? Nah, when the money's on the line, I gotta go with the Bills. It's crazy. We are gonna do a bonus game because I don't even think I had that on here this week. But you know what? Only because I know, I know this is your team. I got to throw it out there. So I'm going to check it right now. Oh, I already know what's going on. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yeah, at the Buffalo Bills, as my guy says. We got um, Buffalo minus 14. Hate it or love it? Well, I love it. <laughs> They're going to come. Yeah, I can't lie. The way <laughs> I, lied, I gotta love it, man. The way that boy been playing, man, he been playing out his mind. Hey, Josh, Josh Allen, you, you're a beast. Um, I thought Lamar Jackson was gonna take you down last week. I, I they had every chance to, and they were took down as you kick the damn field though, man. Don't you should even chance it. Take you gotta take the points. I don't believe that at that point because, dude, you seen what he did. He literally got to the one yard line and was able to kick a field goal. Barb was late seeing a receiver. He was open for four seconds in the I, back of it. I mean, it happens. But what I'm saying is, bro. When you look at like Josh Allen, what he was able to do, he literally got to the one yard line, ran down the clock and then kicked the field goal. Like he, yeah. it was crazy how he, that was crazy, man. So you, you, okay, we both love Buffalo. They got the over under at 46. You know what's crazy? I'm, 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 I'm compelled to, to even go and, and, and say, I love the over only because, <laughs> listen, only because Josh Allen gonna go crazy. And I think yeah. coach, Cody or Kenny Pickett, rather, he's gonna be giving up. So I think he's gonna he's gonna run into a defense this week with Von Miller. All right. These boys, oh my gosh. Yeah, he's he's gonna run into some, he's running into suppression. Buffalo gonna carry enough just to cover that alone. Buffalo. Yeah, I'm going. I love the over. I'm sorry. I love the over of 46. Only because I see Buffalo scoring a lot of points, man. 
and pit scores later just to you know add to the total. All right, we moving on. I love it, man. We had to definitely. I love the the, the bonus game. I'm the, your people down there in the four one two are gonna be a little set with that, man. <laughs> you know, just had it. Hey, it wasn't me this time. I ain't step on no time. We just, I ain't none of that. We just coast. We just gonna coast, and we gonna check out and see what Pickett does, man. That's how we want to see how Pickett looks. That's it. Okay. Well, yeah. Hopefully, no hope for no injuries, and just see how Pickett looks. Maybe we should call Big Ben and see how he's doing in his retirement. Maybe he can come back. It ain't too late, man. I'm just saying. I had to call Cam. Cam is more. Cam might be more suitable right now. Cam? Oh, yeah. Well, Cam or, or Kaepernick. I like Kaepernick then. <laughs> Why not? All right. Well, probably one of these games that is going to be watched a lot only because it's a Thursday night game. Um, we have the Colts minus Jonathan Taylor at the Broncos. Thursday night game. They got the Broncos minus three. Bronco country. You saying let's ride? You hate it a lot. Hey, let's ride. Like, like, like <laughs> Love it, huh? <laughs> We got it. with the points. We got to take that. Coaches. That's crazy. You know what? It's it, it, it's crazy to me because I just know how Russell plays football, and he always finds a way to really be around the game somehow, right. somehow at the end. Even when it looks bad, he's still in there some way. So hey, look, if Tate is out for the Colts, then man, I don't. I just don't see the Colts doing anything. Only because I don't see the Colts doing nothing. Only because. Um, Jonathan, if Jonathan Taylor was playing football this week, I, I could see him do. I know they got Hines. Hines is a he's a suitable backup. He can definitely play some ball. He just named Jay. He ain't that league. Ain't the league rusher though. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? They got the over under at 42 and a half. Hated to love it. I love it. I love it. Hmm. Are you loving that because the Broncos can't stop anybody? Or are you loving it because the Broncos are going to score points? I feel like both teams are going to put up their points a little bit, but I don't see. I, I hate see, it. I don't see the coach keeping up with it, though. I hate it. I don't see them scoring no points at all. I see this being like a 21, 12, 10 game. Yeah, I hate it. I don't really see. The Broncos will shock me if they do that, if they can go out there and put some points on the board. I don't. Because they ain't scoring no points. Yeah, it's you and you going against teams that like ain't really that good at this point right now. Like the Raiders were horrible and you couldn't even score against the Raiders last week. Like, I don't know. So I don't know. Man. And you coming back a Thursday night game. That's a short week. I, I'm, I'm gonna be bounce, bounce back with this. Be motivated a little bit. Like I said, let's ride. OK, we definitely going to see the Bronco country going to ride because I don't know if I'm riding with them at all right now. I don't know. I'd say I love the Broncos to win only because Russell know how to do it, but they don't cover the over at all. I hate it. I hate it. They can't score points. Mm. And then who you got at quarterback over with the Colts? Not Wentz. Uh, yeah, Matt Ryan. He has scored some good points, but then he'll throw some picks out of nowhere, man. So, like, I don't know, man. Hey, I'm not – hey, guys, and I hope you guys don't take offense to this. I'm just telling it like it is, man. I don't throw picks. You do. Hey, <laughs> so, listen. Yeah, I absolutely hate it. Now, again, we have my Titans, my Tennessee Titans at the Washington Commanders football team, whatever you want to call them. They have my Titans at minus two and a half. Hate it or love it? Love it. Got to take them. Okay. Um, I got to take them. They, they got to get on track some way anyway and really figure out their offense and what they do. So I love it minus two. Commanders is terrible right now i think i'm a um i think i'm a um titan regardless and we're not that bad bro we're better than yo yo's team right now while you're talking so whatever we're i feel like we cover for sure the commanders with carson wentz i just don't i'm not seeing it he makes plays but he also at the end of the games when it's time to step up and do certain things for some reason that ball gets to going any and everywhere um I see us Titans definitely covering. I, I love the Titans to cover at two and a half. Um, they have the over under at 42 and a half. Hate it or love it? Hate it. Hate it. Titans is a run. Titans are running team. They can't throw it to nobody. So the clock is running and the commanders ain't putting no points on the board either. So I hate it. I hate it. Too. Undies. 
I hate it. You made some great valid valid points there. Um, I know our first round pick, uh, uh, Burks went out last week. I don't know if he's playing. Um, Robert Woods is there. I see him, you know, making some play. Hmm. hmm. Hold on. You know what? I ain't going with you. I absolutely love this over. I'm going with the Titans over. Only because I think Bobby Woods or Bobby Trees, that's Robert Woods. He comes out of his show with the Tennessee Titans. He's now going to be our number one. And, you know, I think we, 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 we show that he can still make plays. Obviously, he's a USC guy. That's why I'm showing love. But, yeah, I'm, I love the over. I just think that the Titans, you know, we have a, 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 a high-scoring game. And, you know, the commanders, they do a little bit to throw their little pieces in there. But I think that the Titans definitely come out and we have a high-scoring game. It's time for us to do it, man. It's, it's time to show, like you said, that we are the number one team from the AFC. Did you hear what I said? The number one, we were the number one seed last year in the AFC, just in case you didn't hear me. So I think it's definitely time that uh you we 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 show yeah, it's only right. 42 and a half. That's not that much anyway, man. Let's yeah, I love it, man. We're gonna make a play. I don't see both teams putting up day 21, so I'm going undies Titans to cover. Yeah, well, that's the best part about this. What you what you want to bet? Twenty dollars that I win this? What you want to do? You know what I'm saying? One game right or you can bet me. Do uh, you want to bet? Shake on that? A whole a whole a whole, a whole uh, card? Oh, what? just that game. We can bet the whole. Yeah, we can bet, bet twenty the for the game for the whole card. I ain't tripping. Or what? We can go twenty again. What bet you want to? What? All right, yeah. Say less. Card, bro. Say less. <laughs> All right, they got the Eagles at next year. Next up, we got Eagles at the Cardinals. Fly, Eagles, fly. They've been playing some ball. Eagles at yeah. minus five and a half. Hate it or love it? Five and a half. They've been playing. They they find they finding their ways to win, man. I don't like the Cardinals offense right now and what they're doing. So I like it. I love it. I'm going, I'm going with the Eagles. Kyler Murray and the young coach's name, the young dude, Kingsbury yeah. or something. I don't like Kingsbury. Yeah. He was our coordinator at SC and he left us overnight, man. So I ain't. But <laughs> I absolutely disagree with you. I absolutely right. hate this. I feel like the Cardinals come away with a victory. And that's if they win, they cover. So I feel like the Cardinals just come away with a victory. I don't know how they pull it out. Kyler Murray's going to pull out some stunts. I think Jalen Hurts has been playing great football, but I just think that everybody's so high on the Eagles and the Eagles might be just a little too high on themselves that they come out a little flat and the, the, the Cardinals take advantage of that early. And yes, the Cardinals end up coming on top. So I love the Cardinals right now. I, I absolutely hate this, this pick. I don't, I don't see the Eagles covering that five and a half. I think that, like I said, you know, Kyler comes out to play ball and he gets him a victory. So uh, I can't wait to see the outcome. Let's go Kyler. Hey Kyler, let's go Kyler. Cause if, if we might have to put that that clause back in your contract, man. I'm on Jalen Hurts and Brown. We might have to put the study the study the study what's the name back in that man contract if he if he don't win this game. I'll tell you that now. Get that clause. <laughs> yeah, gotta make sure that clause. <laughs> they got the over or under at forty nine. Hated or love it. Eagles and Cardinals, we flying high, man. Let's get it. Yeah, I can't wait to see over. This game. So that's probably really going to be one of them games that's going to be like watched, but I don't think people are going to see how, how significant that that game would be later on. Cause I think that Kyler Murray and them, I think that they get stuff together, man. Cause they still got a great defense. Uh, when that number 10 yeah. comes back, when hot comes back, I don't care what anybody says, you still have to guard him. And that's, he's just a different play, playmaker out there. Hop out there. So I think that's what's messed up. Since, since he went down, it was looking bad since last year when he when yeah. that went down with the knee. But I got, yeah, I still like Ertz. I like Connor and those guys to make some plays. I just see it, man. I'm not sure if AJ Green playing, but if he is, then come on, it's time for AJ to make some plays or something. It's just time. I think I think Kyler Murray wins this game, and I think that they cover. I think that they go. I love the over, actually, for 49. I just feel like they're going to be scoring some points out there. Um, I feel like there's going to be a couple two-point conversions and whatnot, so I just feel like there's going to be some points out there to be got. So yeah, I, I love the over on this. I definitely do. Um, I love it. And 
I just know, I know football. You talking about that Jalen Hurts and all that. You're going to see that on any given Sunday that, that the horrible team becomes the best team out of nowhere. Right. Probably a game I'm going to be watching because, you know, I'm a, I'm a uh, game plan. I'll take the Eagles coach over the Cardinals coach. So we're going Eagles. Okay. That's even, that's better. Some people yeah. might want to even know that. Why would you do? I respect that. Next yeah. game up. We got the Bengals, like my dog Pac-Man Jones say, the Bengals at the Ravens. <laughs> they have the Ravens at uh, minus three. Hate it or love it. This is a good. It's a division game, man. This Boy, is this tough. Gonna, that AFC. This is going to be one of them games. I, I, I'm a, I'll, I got the- I'll go first. I love it. I-, I love it. I just feel like, yes, I, I, I'm taking Lamar Jackson. He has, he, he has to bounce back. Right. He's coming back. Like, I mean, last week he's pissed. He didn't, you know, I, I know right. that feeling. I, I, I just, definitely got the Ravens bouncing back. I and know. that uh, that goal line is still looking bad, man. They suspect, so. You talking about the ban- the Bengals, like my dog Pat, man, said the, the Bengals. The Bengals. Man. Yeah, the Bengals. Bengals. Oh, yeah, they goal line is, the man been getting sacked like goddamn potatoes, man. Hurt. Uh, so I got okay, you. yeah. So we, both, so we both love it. You you taking Lamar on both? We both taking Lamar. Gotta take Lamar on the bounce back game. He almost took down. You almost got a uh, Josh Allen, man. I gotta take him. He should have definitely won that one. I'm, I'm I can't believe he didn't pull that one out, man. I just knew he was gonna pull that. Lam- and you know what's crazy? People say like like you got on here. You even said, "Oh, you got to take the points." You got the reason why I love Harbaugh and the fact that he loves his quarterback like that is because he gives the ball to him and he or he asks him like, "What do you want to do?" And Lamar's like, "Man, let's go win this game." Like I respect the three win. points there, but if you if you get to a point if you're to a point where a, a kicker come, I mean, if you get Josh Allen the ball back and he's going down that field. Man, more than likely, we've seen that kid when it's time to score points and he gets he moves the chain. So I love a Jim Harbaugh, John Harbaugh, whatever Harbaugh it is. I love what he did last week. I love that he, you know, had trust in his quarterback and the guy that they're ultimately gonna probably end up paying damn near half of you know of three hundred million dollars to probably next year. So it showed me that they they have nothing but faith in him. And that, that's something that that should be, you know, I feel like more talked about because that's that's showing you that you have faith in your players that you know that this guy can get the job done I feel like the three points and not having the faith in the defense that has nothing to do with it yes if we score the defense still has to stop anyway you know what I'm saying you still have to stop them from scoring seven so um like I say kudos to you Lamar and and Harbaugh because I I want to play for a coach like you and we got this Monday night game up man was probably going to be a bang out I can't wait to see this too because Patty Mahomes been playing ball but they got Devontae saying, that's Devontae Adams for those that don't know. The Raiders, the Raiders at the Chiefs. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? They got the Raiders at the Chiefs. And okay. um, Chiefs minus seven. Hate it or love it? Love it. You love it? Love it. I love that's it too. Simple. Man, go ahead and play inside the, the, the got to go in depth about it. It's easy. Yeah. Well, I got to go in depth just a little bit because when you play in Chiefs, when you go there and play in that stadium, bro, and from the kickoff, from time to kickoff, when you go to like doing the um the the national anthem and they're like, and the home of the team. And you yeah. can feel that for, I promise you, Miles, the whole city is saying it at the same time. It's ridiculous. I think that's an intimidation factor for sure. But I just don't think the Raiders have what it what it takes, man, to right now take the next step. They got Adams. I just don't see that that defense playing ball like they need to, especially against this Chiefs. But watch me be sitting here like this, and then Josh, Josh McDaniels calls the game of his life. Devontae Adams goes out there, has one of them games where 11 for 200. Carr looks like the, the, the car that should be winning MVPs. But I absolutely love the Chiefs. And I think the Chiefs probably win by more than seven. They're riding high after they yeah. just beat my guy, Tom Brady, last week. Um, I know they feel good. Um, they got Big Red probably ready to call some crazy plays this week. So, got yeah. the running game. 
happen too. So yeah, they they've been playing some ball, man. See, I love the Chiefs fit, uh, minus seven for sure. They have the over under at fifty one. Hate it or love it. Right. See, this it's, is so tricky because if you get the Kansas City team, you know that they can run it out the gym. We talk right. about Showtime Lakers in the 80s. They're going to they gonna find a way to get the points on the board. You know, they damn near. I'm going to love it. I'm going with the over. I expect I expect the divisional game. I expect the Raiders to show up and put up some points at least, man. They're going to have to do something or get embarrassed. I love it. It's hard for me not to love it. With It's hard for me not to take the over with Patty Wagon back there, man. Uh, it's hard because when you see what this man can do with that arm and how he plays ball, it's just like, it's mind blowing, bro. I, I'm, yeah, I love it. I definitely love the over, man. I have to take it. I just think Patrick Mahomes himself, you know, hitting these dudes, the, the, the Valdez Scantling, the Juju Smith Schusters. That's how you know they got ballers. All these dudes got hyphenated double names and shit. So you know they're gonna be making plays. Oh, what about Juju? He was playing tight end and everything last week. So do you guys miss him in Pittsburgh? No. Hmm. Well, I know he doesn't mind. I know he's happy he's playing with Mahomes and not Pickett. I'm just oh, he, he put the tick Trubisky. I'm just saying. You guys started Mitchell Trubisky. I'm just, I'm just saying. You guys, you guys returned all your starters and out over in Tennessee and ain't did shit. We well, we're going we two and two right now. Yeah. Okay. We win next year. I mean, we win next week. We're above 500. You guys win next week. You're still, you're still below 500. What's y'all's record? That's fine. It's a, if it is, that'll be our first losing season in town in the time of ever. I don't want Tom to go out like that, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do you like that, cause Tom's one of us. So I, I, I ain't gonna do him like that. I hope you find a way. But don't talk about my Titans like that. We will, but we will. He, we both, um, both love the over with the Raiders and Chiefs, man. Um, and really, brother, that's the end of um, my little session for this week. But I cannot wait to so see twenty on the black ticket. and white. I can't wait. I'll, and I'll come on here the next show and tell who won and you know that you got me, but I highly doubt it, bro. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be smoking that kale pack with that dub. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I I know this is what's gonna happen, but but I I, I truly appreciate you uh, joining me again, man. I know you okay. got a household to take care of and you know, it, it might not be easy sometimes. So I truly appreciate this brother. And Already, already, I'm gonna holla at you. All right, bro. Another episode oh. of Hated to Love It, you dig?